Alright guys, here we are back on NR2003. Today we have a very exciting video. We are going to be driving with a setup that is completely randomly generated using a random number generator. This can only go badly, I am sure. Now we're going to be on the default cup mod at the default North Carolina Speedway that comes in the game, The Rock. Clear 70 degree weather. The reason I'm choosing this track is because I actually hold the world record for it, uh, 23109. So we're going to kind of randomly generate a setup and then we're going to try and race with the world record time and see how we do here. So jumping in, I will show you what the world record setup actually looks like here. Um, as you can see, you know, you've got these equivalent tire pressures front and back on each side. You've got uh, springs that are the same front and back, really uh, kind of uh, congruent in a lot of ways, you know, very similar across the board. Jump into the drivetrain, of course, you'd have 100% grill tape when you're going for a world record lap. And, you know, everything kind of looks normal, but we're going to go ahead and mess all that up. Now, to add a little bit of fun to it, I think I'm going to give myself one option to re-roll a single setting if I'm not happy with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate all the setup right now. I'll kind of explain how I'm doing it as we go through. And then once we come back, I'll decide the one thing that I want to re-roll and we'll get on the track. So getting the setup ready to go was pretty simple. I just used random.org and I inputted minimum and maximum values that are the range on the setup. And whatever number it spat out was what I set that setup option to be. Now in certain cases there are decimals involved. Like for example on tire pressure it can range from anywhere to from 8 to 60 psi. And there are 0.5s in between. In cases like this I just set the random numbers to 80 and 600. And I generated a value and I chose the closest psi value to what had been generated. Generator also allows for negative numbers so I was able to do camber and caster settings as well. And in certain cases where there are only like one to three options, I just did a one through three randomly generated and then picked which corresponding option was available. Nothing too complicated. I kind of just made this up as I went, but as you can see, everything in the setup was truly chosen randomly. Alright, so we've got our setup here, um, as I was going through and creating it, lots of very concerning things. Uh, the tire pressures, uh, lower in the front left and right rear, and then very high on the right front and left rear, that's a little bit worrying, and then the springs being very, very stiff in the left front and quite soft in the right front is also very concerning. Uh, you know, compression and rebound, it kind of just affects handling. I'm not majorly concerned. The brake bias, again, it didn't come out the worst. Uh, 94.8 front row couple total. That can be okay. Uh, going to drive train, the spoiler. Oh my goodness. Like, I saw that and I thought that might be what I wanted to re-roll. But we only have one gallon of fuel. And we can't really do anything with that so i think i have to re-roll the 1 through 22 here and uh see what we get instead so we'll go 1 through 22 on the random number generator and we get 16 all right it is what it is i probably would have taken the spoiler uh if not for the fuel i got really unlucky on that so yeah this is the setup we're gonna run with got lucky with the transmission as well all being in order and there's your weight bias very tight car, but that spoiler being 49 degrees is going to loosen this baby up. Let's get on the track. Alright, let's hit the track. I don't even know what to be worried about the most. These tire pressures are scaring me. Oh boy. Alright, we're going to take it nice and easy here. It's bumping a lot up and down. That's a little bit concerning. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's a little... Oh. 
All right, it, was, it snapped at the back end. That's fine. We didn't hit anything. <laughs> okay, so it's a little bit oversteery. That spoiler might might be pretty bad. I should have taken the uh, low fuel. All right. Oh my gosh! The second my wheel went off center. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna creep it around. Oh. Oh, I don't like it. It's like if you turn your wheel more than about two degrees. Yeah, there we go. All right, time for the flying lap. If you turn your wheel more than two degrees, it snaps. All right, we're hitting the limiter there. We're gonna break in a straight line. Oh no, save it. Oh my God. All right, we put some heat in the tires. Let's go get them. Oh. This is worse than I could have ever imagined. I thought, you know, it would just be like tight or maybe a little bit loose or something. This thing, it feels almost like, how would I describe it? It feels like an F1 car driving full speed around a high speed turn, but with no rear wing. Like the rear wing just has snapped off. It is unbelievable how bad this car snap rotates. All right, a 39-1 on lap one, we're getting close. All right, come on, we can do it. Yeah, there we go. Nice and easy through that corner. Pick it up. Perfect. All right, let's get it. Oh man, the bumps don't help either. It's like bouncing up and down. There we go. I call that a, oh, I almost spoke too soon. I would call that one a clean lap right there. All right, let's get. All right, one more try. We can get in the 29s. All right, shall we see a 29 here? Let's go, baby. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, we saved it. Yep. Started to break loose on me for a second. All right, come on. Three and four is all that stands in our way. Get it slowed. Oh, we'll let it ride up let it ride up the hill a little bit I can just feel it like wanting to wreck it's doing its best uh, 30.9 we have to go faster that is a concerning prospect oh man you have to be so ready to counter steer and it just wants to snap back in the other direction when you do that all right let's get it slowed oh man my wrists. Like, I gotta have those fast hands in this car. There we go. Come on, let me see 29. Yes. Alright, I think we're ready to race. Let's get into it. Drivers, start your engines. Alright, guys. It is a race time here at Rockingham. 20 laps ahead of us. This is on the easiest AI difficulty. 70 AI difficulty. So if I'm going to have a chance, it's going to be right here in this race. You know, we, we didn't have any practice, pandemic and everything. So we just had to throw a setup at it. And let's see what we can do. All right. So the plan is to go really, really slow and just hope I'm somehow faster than these guys. Because I really have no control over where my car is going in the turns. Straights aren't that bad. Oh boy. Oh man. I don't like this one bit. Okay, nice and easy, nice and easy. <sighs> Come on now. I, I'm, oh, okay. <laughs> Shoot. So the fuel level is going to be a little bit different here in a race because you can only take max fuel at the start of a race. So let's change the handling a little bit, it would appear. And now we're kind of hanging in there, you know. I mean, I say hanging in there. We're barely holding on to the edge of the pack on 70 difficulty, but it, it's rolling good. It's rolling good. <laughs> Plus, we do have a clear 65 degrees in this race, so 
that's helping our uh, our grip out maybe a little bit it being a bit cooler oh man we almost went okay we have to push push now Justin oh my god okay we're fine we can still win this look they're going so slow okay here we go it's good it's good Come on. Uh, I think, uh, I don't know what to say. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that video. This might be the worst car ever created for NR2003 in terms of setup. I don't think I can make it this bad if I tried. If you guys want to try this out and let me know how it goes, just take a look at my setup and you can input it into your game. And if there are some crazy setups you do want me to try out, maybe you can leave a link to them in my Discord. Tell me what track you want me to run them on and I will give them a shot. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next race.